guys, this is Tui, my new aunt. So people can have fire. And then a girl named Moana. <laughs> That's Alo. Go in that right way though. can barely see. Oh yeah, you have to go close. He went into the forest, selected choice pieces of bamboo, and made 12 knives. Upon completing his project, he set out on his journey to meet the sea devil. At the end of the story, he won. Did he really? Queen Salamasina, Tayamalilangi's daughter. Very fortunate because she became the first person to receive the four royal titles of Samoa, Levalasi, from the Levalasi, her guardian. Sina, how the coconut tree came about. Sina and the tuna. Oh, those are my people. <laughs> how she killed the tuna and planted the head and out sprung coconuts. Tuitonga. This king is said to have been a good warrior, but he was proud, pitiless, and cruel, especially towards Samoans. Why do you tell her? Malia Toa, Tangma Fili II. His Highness Malia Toa, Tangma Fili II, raised by his parents until he attained the age of seven, then he was taken to Malie to learn the royal duties of a prince. Tuititi, or the king of Fiji. Tongan woman and a Samoan man went to a woman's home in Tonga. On the way, they were rescued by Fiji. There they met Tuifiti, and the Tongan woman married Tuifiti. Oh, my favorite, Nafanua, the warrior goddess, a demi goddess. Why are there only demis? Vaya, a big, strong, handsome giant who lived in Upolu, but he insulted Tuifiti. And so Tuifiti sent men to eat him. He wasn't eaten. Taima and Tila Fainga, the originators of the tatau, of the tattoo. Tangaloa Langi. Creation of the earth. There's a tale. Uh, the god Tangaloa dwelt in the expanse. He made all things. He alone was there. Not any sky, not any country. He only went to and fro in the expanse. All right. Lu of Fuafato. While Lu was away fishing in the bay, some of Tangaloa Langi's men came down from the tenth heaven to visit their relatives. They were envious of Lu's sacred chickens and decided to steal some of them. Pili, the son of Tangaloa, was a strong, clever, and skillful man. His influence in genealogy as a demigod made him a very important person. Not in my life. I'm tired. You're not far. <laughs> no, we're almost done. Tingi Lao. Tingi Lao. Say something about Tingi Lao. Tingi Lao is one of the most romantic and colorful characters of Samoa. That's all y'all need to know. This great lover always made love to all the beautiful Taupo. But when it came time for marriage, she would leave the lovely maidens. And she's such a home. <laughs> 
He's a man here. Who they all know? He's a Lafayette. I guess what I'm really trying to say to everyone who's watching, who's gonna watch this video, is you just need to come up here and read this yourself. To put on my sister, my only. Oh, so I can only name. To put on my sister, my only. That's why they need to come and read it for themselves so that they can pronounce it right. And if you don't have it, there you go. Two more. I need a story <laughs> without the brightness. What's that next one? You got it already, I think. No, so the two more. Three more. Oh, two more. Sabea. Malia Toa Sabea. And then we have Sabea Sigleo. I am starving, people. Almost there. One more. Aha. Sabea Sigleo. And that concludes our tour of David Omake Fale in Sauniatu. And we end here. Where we started. Where we started. So you might know. Aloha. Aloha.